Hello. Hello. My name is Tanisha Kirkendall. My name is Hector Belmont. And I'm Linda Reddick. And it is our pleasure to welcome you to the National First Generation College Celebration hosted by Grand Valley State University TRIO Federal Programs. This is a time to celebrate being the first to attend college and your family. Tonight's event will be full of inspiration, motivation, and celebration for each of you. We will also be giving out prizes for your chance to win. Please enter your name in the chat box with hashtag first and proud, hashtag celebrate first gen. We hope you enjoy our program. What is First Generation Day? November 8 was designated as National First Generation College Day, as it is the anniversary of the signing of the Higher Education Act of 1965. The Higher Education Act, also known as HEA, is a federal law that governs the administration of federal higher education programs. Its purpose is to strengthen the educational resources in our colleges and universities and to provide financial assistance for students in post-secondary and higher education. First passed in 1965 to ensure that every individual has access to higher education, regardless of income or zip code, the HEA governs student aid programs, federal aid to colleges, and oversight of teacher preparation programs. Hello, my name is Khalil Ferguson. I'm a first gen here at Grand Valley State University. I came here in 2016. Um, when I first came here, I was excited. I came here with the major of computers, computer science. However, you know, once you get to learn the classes and everything, you learn that the degree that you wanted to go for at first might not be it for you. So I changed it a couple times, went from computer science to business and now communications. Um, some of the difficulties I had with Grand Valley State was, I think, just fitting in. I think the transition from high school to college was a big transition for me, especially since I didn't have no reference for me. Um, but after using the resources at Grand Valley, making friends and talking to the staff, I was able to get comfortable and really, you know, advance myself to the next level. Uh, one advice I want to give to the students here is don't be afraid to try new things. You are going to be in a new environment and being a closed show is going to have really um, give more difficulties than you, um, to you than you really want. So um, I advise people to open up, try new things, and always ask for help. Thank you. And now it's time for our first giveaway. Type your email and the hashtag, hashtag celebrate first gen in the chat right now for your chance to win a prize. Again, type your email and hashtag celebrate first gen in the comments to enter and to win a prize. I'll be back for more giveaways throughout the event. Now, I'd like to introduce Midnight Snack a cappella group. Hi, my name's Olivia. Hi, I'm Star. Hi, my name's Brianna, and we are all first generation college students here at Green Valley and in Midnight Snack. We're here to celebrate first generation college students with you, and we hope you enjoy Midnight Snack's version of Sunday Candy. <laughs> So I'm singing for my grandma. You sing it too, but your grandma ain't my grandma. Mine's handmade, pan fried, sun dried, south side, and beat the devil by a landslide. Pray with my hands tied, broken with my pan clothes, then talk. Who told me I should bring my butt to church? 
You gotta move slowly. Take my body like it's holy. Come and wait for you for this whole week. Come and wait for you on a Sunday. Candy slowly. Take it in my body like it's holy. I've been waiting for you for this whole week. I've been praying for you on my Sunday. Yeah. Come on in this house. Cause it's going to rain. Rain down Zion. It's going to rain. I come to church with the candy. Your peppermint is the truth. I'm pessimistic on Monday. If I had tweaked and miss you. You look so good with that hat on. I had to match with the shoes. Came and dressed in the satin, I came and sat in your view. I come to Christmas for dinner, 50 rolls on my plate. Hello, holes in my stocking, holding your pockets in place. I like my love with the budget, I like my hugs with the scent. You smell like light, gas, water, electricity, breath. You sound like why the gospel choir got so tired. Singing this praise on a daily basis, so I had to try it. You're my dream, catch a dream, team, team, captain. Matter of fact, I ain't seen you in a minute, let me take my butt to church. Come on in this house. Oh, rain, rain down Zion, it's gonna rain, come on in this house, cause it's gonna rain, rain down Zion, it's gonna rain, you gotta move slowly, you take me my body like it's holy, I've been waiting for you for this whole week. I've been praying for you on my Sunday. Candy. Our keynote speaker for the evening is Brad Waller, professor of chemistry. Brad has been a member of the GVSU faculty since 2003. As a first generation student, Professor Waller received his BS in biology from the University of Michigan Flint in 1993. After six years of graduate school, he obtained his PhD in biochemistry, molecular biology, and biophysics in 2000 from the University of Minnesota. He then pursued further training in cancer biochemistry while completing a postdoctoral fellowship in the cell structure and signal integration laboratory at the Van Andel Institute. Students appreciate the significant time and effort that Waller puts into their education. Whether it's in the classroom, advising, or mentoring in their research projects, Waller's interactions with his students go well beyond teaching scientific skills. Many students have noted him as being a very influential person throughout their undergraduate career, and he continues to serve as an important mentor to some of his former students. Please welcome Professor Brad Waller. Hello, my name is Brad Waller. I am a chemistry professor here at Grand Valley. I'm in my 19th year, and congratulations on being a first-generation student here at Grand Valley. I'm also a first-generation student. Uh, I came from a small town outside of Flint, and I went to the University of Michigan Flint. I did not have uh, anybody in front of me to show me the way on how to go and what to expect from college. But in order to save money, I worked, I lived at home, and I wasn't aware of any programs at the school that could help out. But for me, what I did have is friends and professors. And it was those relationships which helped guide me into where I am today. So I encourage you to participate here at Grand Valley. There's a lot of relationships you can make with faculty and students, support groups like TRIO, like the McNair program, like the Center for Undergraduate Scholarly Engagement and Office of Undergraduate Research and Scholarship. There are so many opportunities here and people that can understand what you're going through. And more importantly, oh, I shouldn't say more importantly, but also importantly, one that you tend to forget, your faculty, people like me. So we are here, many of us, a significant portion of our first generation, and we understand what you're going through and we can help. And this is why we're here, we want to do this. Now, a little bit of advice before I come back. And that is grades. I've heard a lot in some cases of grades aren't important whatsoever. I want to kind of debunk that myth, all right? Our goal is to help you succeed in whatever careers you want and to get you power. And what I mean by power is the power to choose your opportunities. 
to have doors open and stay open until you choose to go through which one you want to go through. With that, it, it requires performance. And so grades are not, per, you, they are not a perfect assessment. You will not be perfect. You are not always going to get the best grade. But like anything, whether you're an athlete or a musician, you have to train. And in this case, with academics, you got to study and you got to work. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not fun. That's the one part that it is not fun. It wasn't fun for faculty, and I can tell you, I went through all the same things. But it does show a commitment. Now the question is, is are you going to go through a rough patch? Yes. Everyone here, regardless of where they come from, is going to go through a rough patch. That is a given. The question is, what are you going to do about it? What choices are you going to make to get by that? And so when it gets tough, and it's going to at some point in time, that could be your freshman year, that could be your junior year, remember all these people that are around you. Again, remember TRIO. Remember your faculty. Remember your fellow students who are going through the same things. So remember all these people because when you succeed, when you win, we win. All right? So that is one thing I really wanted to say. You are not alone in this. We are all here to help. We're here because we want to be here. It's not just our job. We want to do this. So congrats on being first generation. We celebrate you. Enjoy your time and let's get to work, all right? Because we're going to help each other out. Open up all the opportunities because as first generation students like me, we know you can do it. You have it in you and we want you to succeed. So come see us, come involve us and most importantly, go win, all right? This is something we know you can do. So we celebrate first generation students. You are going to open up doors for people beyond you as well. And go Lakers. Thank you, Professor Waller. As a first generation student, Professor Waller has taken the time to intentionally help our students in chemistry and biology. He has shown true commitment to helping our students excel in any way possible. And we are truly, truly thankful for that. Professor Waller has also received the University Outstanding Teaching Award, the Pew Teaching Excellence Award, Distinguished Undergraduate Mentor Award, and Professor of the Year by the GVSU Educational Support Program. This year, we are happy to add to this list and present Professor Waller with the TRIO Impact Award. This award is given with sincere gratitude for your dedication and commitment to first-generation college students. Congratulations, Professor Waller. Okay, big surprise. I had no idea that this was coming, so I do want to thank TRIO for giving me this award. Um, I will say that, that I'm honored, uh, and I can also say it's great to have a pat on the back, but I, I will guarantee that we don't do this for awards. Um, so for any of the students that want help, uh, it's not for these that we do this for. It is because we truly actually care. So uh, again, uh, this is great that this is a celebration, and, and I, I'm really proud to have this. But more importantly, um, for all the people that I haven't met, feel free to come by and, uh, and get some help. Thank you very much. And now we present to you the TikTok famous Laker dance team. Let me do this. 
I'm back and ready for our second giveaway. This time, type your email and the hashtag, hashtag FirstGenProud in the chat right now for your chance to win a prize. Again, type your email and hashtag FirstGen in the comments to enter in to win a prize. I just peeked in the bag and let's just say these prizes are really nice. Each year, the TRIO program recognizes individuals who have demonstrated an outstanding commitment to providing equitable pathways, resources, and services for underserved student populations in higher education. Today, we are here to present this award to three deserving individuals. First, it is our pleasure to present this year's TRIO Award to Dr. William Washington. Born and raised in Flint, Dr. Washington exemplifies what it means to be an outstanding leader. As a longtime advocate for student success, Dr. Washington has been a key player in obtaining funding for TRIO, innovating to better meet the needs of diverse student populations, and helping students seamlessly transition to remote learning overnight in the wake of COVID-19, working tirelessly not to leave anyone behind. Dr. Washington catalyzes leadership to dismantle all barriers and bring quality resources and support to those who may have not previously had access, preparing underserved student populations for present and future success. From his personal passions, professional involvements, and entrepreneurial spirit, everything in his life reflects his motto, I am not successful until I help the next person be successful. First, I want to give honor to God uh, and appreciate all the strength that he's given me to give back to the students at Grand Valley. I'm a first-gen student. I didn't realize I was a first-gen student until after college and started working with first-generation students. We don't often have the opportunity to have those experiences explained to us at home. My parents didn't attend a traditional college, didn't have that traditional college experience. And so I came in as a first time kind of blind. Uh, worked with and bumped my head with fellow students to get through Grand Valley. I love my experience. I've uh, submitted several family members to Grand Valley because of this great experience. As a professional staff person, I came back to give back. I really believe it's my God-given purpose, my talent, to help students, to help the next generation, to help them not bump their heads, for them to use me as I try to use other professionals to help me graduate. The navigating five different majors before graduating was a challenge. I want to help students get through as quickly as they possibly can. I appreciate my staff for recognizing me. Our work often goes unseen, unacknowledged. Um, our students come back 10, 20, 30 years later to say thank you. In that meantime, we hope that they've become contributing members, members to our communities. And all we have to do is go on faith that we've done our best. Uh, it's a wonderful feeling to see our students come back, being productive, happy, smiling, and thanking us. And to get this recognition by my team, I appreciate it because I have a, a good, strong team. We did our best. We did a lot with students. We did a lot for students. Our students are coming back to school energized after a pandemic. They're resilient and they're going to be even better now that we're back in full force. And after going through this, everyone is better. We're going to be stronger. I love our students. Our students are my passion. They're the reason I come to work every day. I take that passion and that energy they bring me and I take it to my children, hoping that they will be better adults than I am. Uh, but I love my work at Grand Valley. I'm a liquor for a lifetime. I'm hoping I can be more than what I am because of the students that come after me. And uh, I do appreciate this recognition. Thank you. I have been given the opportunity to present this next portion of the celebration. I am excited because I'm going to present an award. I know our TPSSS students know about this particular individual, but for those of you who we don't have the privilege of working with, I'm going to tell you a bit about her. The individual is Aliyah Armstrong, Director of TRIO Teacher Prep Student Support Services. Aliyah is an energized person who oft often doesn't take breaks, who is always thinking about you all, 
the students. Aliyah, like any person, sometimes feels under the weather. But, a one, but the one thing she does not do is cancel an appointment, which means that if there is a scheduled appointment in her calendar, that appointment will happen. At a very young age, I was told that anyone who wants to go into the education field, you have to have the love and the passion for it because some days are hard and other days are even harder. Aliyah has both. If there is one thing that you all need to know about Aliyah Armstrong is a, is a love she has for her students. Aliyah gives 100% of her effort every day because as a first generation student herself, she understands the importance of her work. So without further ado, Aliyah, I present to you the award of appreciation for everything you do for TPSSS. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, you really got me. Thank you so much for this award. What a wonderful surprise. My name is Aliyah Armstrong. I'm the director of TRIO TPSSS. I'm a first generation college graduate. I graduated from GVSU with a master's degree in 2005 alongside my husband and best friend. We have dedicated most of our professional careers to marginalized populations. And today, I support first-generation college students at the collegiate level, and I do not take it for granted. TRIO TPSSS works with students who desire a career in K-12 education. It is with passion and purpose that one is able to live, breathe, and take ownership of their journey. To be a part of TRIO is to reach back and move forward, make progress, level the playing field, and provide access. Your story is to help another person struggle. I wholeheartedly believe that. The stories and narratives that I hear on a daily basis are the stories that will benefit generations to come. They are the stories of change, change agents that will move mountains. This is what TRIO is all about. You move me and direct me on my path daily. We do the work we do because of you. Thank you for allowing me to occupy space with you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. Undergrads, grads, law students, teachers, educators, directors. In this short amount of time, you have impacted me all the while thinking I was impacting you. That's TRIO. What does first gen mean to me? Grit, determination, resilience. It reminds me that we stand on the shoulders of great ancestors who came before us and we are destined for greatness. Excellence, we will not fail. We may stumble, but we absolutely make the best of the stagger. We call it swagger. This has come to be my mantra. I'm first. I'm done making myself small for others' comfort. Being first, it is a big deal. Go be great. Thank you. It's time for another amazing performance. Introducing the GVSU Belly Dance Club. Don't forsake this life of yours I've got you home no matter where you are 
This event not only recognizes those who are first-generation college students, but those who are dedicated to them. Even when other assignments have called her away, Dr. Nakia Gaines, or Dr. G, has explained that her TRIO program is still the most important aspect of her role at Grand Valley State University. Her dedication and passion for first-generation students is unmatched. She has been offered other opportunities, which she has turned down until recently, when she became the Assistant Vice President for Federal TRIO Programs, which allows her to expand her work with first-generation students. For all her work, I would like to present this year's TRIO Award to Dr. Nakia Gaines. Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki Gaines, affectionately known as Dr. G. I serve as the Assistant Vice President for Federal TRIO Programs, and this is a wonderful surprise. I can't stop smiling. I want to thank Linda and her fabulous peers for this award. You know I could not have done this without you. You have been a great partner in TRIO. As a first-gen alumna, I know how important our services are to not only our TRIO participants, but all first-generation students at Grand Valley State University. It is my goal to connect all first-generation college students with resources, programs, faculty, staff, and peers that will support them during their journey at Grand Valley. You are not alone. My charge to each of you is that you are, if you are part of the TRIO family, find a friend or peer that is not in the program and connect them, encourage them to apply. If you are faculty or staff, consider mentoring a first-gen student not connected to TRIO, and please share your first-gen story in your spaces. Your story matters, and it may have the power to encourage a student. And please remember, TRIO works. At this time, we would like to spotlight our first-generation students, staff, faculty, and alumni, and celebrate their inspiring stories of dedication, perseverance, and academic achievement.
again, and it's time to give away some big gifts. For the final time, type your email and the hashtag, hashtag FirstGenLakers in the chat right now for your chance to win one of our big prizes. Trust me, let me type in my email with this hashtag and enter myself. First Gen Lakers, there, I'm all entered. Are you? All the, en all the winners will receive an email to claim your prize following this event. Well, that was a great event, wasn't it? It sure was. The Laker dance team sure bust a move. I was so excited to see all the faculty and staff stories. It was so great to celebrate being first gen. Well, we can't wait to see you next year. Anchor, Anchor up. up.